Now let's get over to our very own Inez Ferre at the Wi-Fi Interactive. Big sell-off here, Inez. Yeah, big sell-off that we're watching right now. And we are watching the major averages. The NASDAQ losing the most out of the major averages. And the NASDAQ 100 at its lowest point now since June 17th. So you can see some of the mega caps here. Amazon down more than 5%. Google also lower. Taking a look at the Dow, uh, almost all 30 Dow components being in uh, the uh, red. You've got Chevron, though, that is hanging on to some gains right now. Looking at the sectors, we are seeing consumer discretionary that's losing the most. You've got utilities that's in the green. And if we just take a look at a quarter to date chart, you can see Julie did a good job earlier of pointing out consumer discretionary uh, during the last quarter, losing the most energy also in the red for the last quarter. But if you take a look at a year to date chart, you still have energy that's seeing gains. Consumer discretionary again uh, in the red, losing the most. Looking at also the retail space because we are talking about consumer discretionary that's a year to date but let me just pull up an intraday chart right now we are seeing some 52 week lows for some of these including target gap Kohl's, rh and also on the travel sector stocks we are seeing that some 52 week lows here as well you've got delta royal caribbean uh, carnival expedia all of these are at 52 week lows and finally just want to point out what's happening with crypto because we are seeing bitcoin below the nine $19,000 level, guys. All right, Yahoo Finance is owned in S4A. Thanks for breaking that all down for us.